Introducing these two victory fights, kickboxing warriors once again, fighting out of the blue corner. He represents the New Wave Academy. He is Mohammed Masakoi. And fighting out of the red corner, he represents Ken Shiro. He is Ori Benson. The referee in charge in the action is Sam Amidi. We have returned after the break to kickboxing action in the 80 kilogram category. Ori Benson in the black and red shorts and Mohamed Masakwai in the white and gold shorts. Straight into the centre. Big power from the off. Big knees, oh. beautiful. This is an amateur kickboxing bout, so there are no knees to the head. But Mohammed seems like he's okay. Beautiful leg kick, solid. Both, both fighters, so powerful. Beautiful. Ori or trying to control that clinch. Ori landed a low kick and it almost looked like it wobbled Mohammed there. Big kick from Mohammed, exchange. The start has been really ferocious. It'll be interesting to see who kind of settles into the fight and can be more comfortable in there. That was a nice combination from Hamid there. Left and right and slipped out. Good work again. Shot to the body, mixing it up. Or he comes forward. Ori's got an expression on his face, like he's really feeling the pace of this. The adrenaline dump has hit him, but as I said that, he lands a beautiful right hand. Good work again from Mohammed. Lovely knees there from Benson. Beautiful. Nice, solid low kick. And Benson returns the favour. Beautiful combinations. I like seeing that from both fighters, both coming in close in the clinch, landing uppercuts. Good first round. Both fighters landing big shots, real aggressive exchanges. It seems like I might be reading too much into it, but Ori Benson looked like he was feeling the pace of the round a little bit more than Mohammed. So it'll be interesting to see how the second round goes in, see if anyone fades or see who can grit down, push the pace and take advantage. Second round starts just as aggressively as the first round. Straight in, big power. Mo with really solid power lights to get deep inside. But Kick you, them power shots. You can see his frame short, stocky, huge. Oh! 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 Straight back to his feet. Mo, wow! Mo hit the ground and it looked like he was out and then it's like someone turned on the light switch and he was straight back up again. Flash knockdown. We'll see now how much that affected him. 
Straight back to it, Ori. Or Ori goes straight back to the shot. Beautiful work. Mo, se Mo seems to be okay. Seems like w whatever cobwebs were there seems to have been gone. Lovely right hand. Oh! Completely accidental. So I didn't see that. If we could get a replay, that would be better. Personally, if I was Mo in this situation, I would take as much time as I am allotted. One, to recover from the groin shot. Two, to just to get my breath back. See, when fighters do that, I'm not a big fan of it, I'll be honest. Take your time. Oh, big shot again from Ori. Big power. Beautiful combination from I, I, Mo. I love that from Mo. Great mixing it up from the body back up to the head. Beautiful work. It's a great round. Ori with a big shot that for me, I think, would have sealed the round for him. Yeah, 100%. Like, he, he, he literally, Tyson Fury style Mo went down, looked like he was out cold took a moment and then bounced back up like nothing happened, so great job. The third round will be interesting because I felt like Mohammed was working more. I felt like Ori was not throwing as much, but he seemed to be really effective, especially with those head kicks, so the last round, we'll see. Man, this place just got really loud. Really loud. Lovely right hand from Mo. Power shots. And that, that's, that's what he needs to do. He needs to push that pressure, mix up the shots from the head and to the body. When he does that, he has so much success. Those shots are just whistling. Beautiful. Ori again, the knee to the head. I think for some of these guys, it's difficult. They're, they're practicing pro techniques in the gym and then they get into the fight, but. Point you know, deducted. Uh, and, and do you know what it is? You can't blame him because he has, he's been warned once. That's the second time that's happened. So now that cha Rob, that changes a lot of things now. A point, a point up Ori was because of the head kick, but now he's had a point deducted. So we're all back to square one. Lovely combination there from Mo. Yeah, it's nice the way he slips, throws that right straight. Oh, lovely knees though from Ori. But Ori just seems really tired. Lovely shot to the body from Mo. Big shot. Listen, if Mo can just put his foot on the gas, I genuinely believe he can get Ori out of there. 
Yeah, or he looks composed. Quite happy to be at that range. Nice little clipping left hook there. And, and just as I spoke of how tired Ori is, Ori comes back with a lovely left hook. Last 10 seconds. Good combination from Mohamed as he comes forward. Great flurry there. There it is. Rob, how do you see the fight? How do you have it? Who do you reckon gets the nod? It's a tough one. I mean, based on the previous two rounds, you've got the 10-8 for the knockdown, and then you've got the 10-9 point deducted, possibly if he won the round. It's a tough one. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not a judge. Don't want to be a judge. Over to the judges. That's, Let them do their that's job. That's why we're here <laughs> talking our talk, and that's why they're over there judging. Someone else gets paid for that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a fantastic demonstration of kickboxing here at Victory Fights. But after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a split decision in favor of your winner. From the red corner, Ori Benson! And please make some noise for a fantastic runner-up. Muhammad Masakoy.